Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Bit of a late one today, apologies for that. Yesterday was a holiday here in the US, uh, so that made a busy day for me. But we are back and we actually have a couple things to talk about because it's a Tuesday on FIFA Ultimate Team, in team of the season. That means guaranteed TOTS SBCs, but they're not added to the code yet. So EA Sports, are you gonna throw another wrench into League One TOTS and continue making this kind of a dead week of team of the season? or? Are you actually going to pull through? I think they're going to pull through today. I think the code's going to get added before 6 p.m. today. I think it almost has to, right? That's the schedule that I've gone with for the previous four weeks. If they don't do it this week, then I don't know what in the world is going on. But that is something I expect. Also, the new secondary teams, MLS, rest of the world, want to take a look at those. I actually bought a few of them to try to trade this morning. So we'll see how those are looking um, because I just woke up a little bit ago. So we move. And also, we have a brand new vote for the... Player of the year from the Premier League. Now, obviously, you see I have voted for Harry Kane, the main man. Uh, but this is the website. EA Sports tweeted it out. And the vote is in, right? You're able to vote for. And, of course, since I voted now, you can't see it. Unbelievable. But these are the players that are in. De Bruyne, Ruben Diaz, Bruno Fernandes, Grealish, Sushek, Salah, Mount, and Kane. I think it's going to be between KDB, Bruno, Ruben Diaz and Harry Kane. Now, I don't know specifically like what the percentage is for the fan vote. I don't know what this is, if it's a normal player of the month where the fan vote has like a 10% count or not. But anyways, um, these are the guys that are voted. So if you go and click on this link, you can vote. And I want to talk about this SBC, right? Because whoever wins, right? We've got all these cards that are in here. All of these guys have team of the seasons except for Mount and Grealish. Um, and... You know, the guys that are favored to win all have team of the season. So just like last year in FIFA 20, where we had the Trent Alexander-Arnold and the Kevin De Bruyne, of course, this was announced in August of last year. So a lot later because of the late end of the season with COVID. Uh, but this 99 Kevin De Bruyne was released at 1.3 million coins. And this 99 KDB was like 2 million coins or 1.9 mil at the time. So it was a good value SBC. And you can expect the award winner SBC to have the exact same statistics as the team of the season. So let's say Kane wins, right? It's probably going to have the exact st same statistics as this 96 Kane. So the I guess the cool part about this is, is if EA, if, let's say Bruno or KDB wins, right? These are two expensive cards, the two most expensive cards, well, besides Salah, that are in the voting if Bruno wins, they could release his SBC for 1 million coins and then bang, you could go craft uh, Bruno for a very, very, very cheaper price. Now, of course, fodder right now is really, really low in the mid tier and to the high tier. We'll talk about that too. But um, I just kind of want to talk about this player of the year SBC because that is also hype and everybody's talking about that right now. Now, so that's kind of one thing you can expect. Now, date, when is this going to be released? The PFA awards are on Friday, June 4th. So this is quick turnaround, right? Today is June 1st. Welcome to June, by the way. Um, but this is going to be released pretty quick. So it's the voting is not going to be over for that long. And it's probably going to be on Friday when we'll see the SBC too. So when the awards are announced after that, they should be dropping the SBC in game so if you did want to do a club stock on fodder if you think kdb if you think bruno's gonna win you could go and club stock some of that fodder now of course i've done a club stock of some 84s now i have a lot of them in my club but i also have a few here on the transfer list as you can see i bought a couple extras um but i think a lot of this stuff is still really really good in terms of price i think fodder is still really low even though it's actually up a little bit if you look at the index 84 People saw how low it got yesterday and they started buying it up because again, today is also usually guaranteed SBC day and that means we should have a League One guaranteed TOTS pack coming out today. But again, we have not had that added to the code. We have had not had new code dropped in this game for a while. So unless Footwatch is not tweeting it out, I don't know how to check the code myself, but I still expect that code to be added today as we head into 6 p.m. a couple hours from now um, and that SBC or both those SBCs to be dropped today on Tuesday as it has been the last two weeks, right? We had the, the Syria and the Air Divisi or CSL last week. And hopefully today on Tuesday, we have the League One and the rest of the world or the MLS squad. So again, 84s are still very low in the grand scheme of things. I mean, look, I'm getting, what I'm reminded of is when the content was not good in the Premier League leading into La Liga, you saw 84s get down disgracefully low. They were like 4,000 coins a card. They jumped up big time the next week. You know, I just think that these 84s, see how low we are right now? I know we're not as low as we were here, 
but I don't think we're gonna get here. I really don't, unless they would release some sort of like two for one packs promo, which I find unlikely during team of the season. But um, I feel like fodder is getting low again. We're gonna have another one of these spikes, in my opinion, maybe during Ultimate Tots, if we have Euros content and Summer Heat content coming soon. And with this Premier League SBC coming out, Maybe an icon player pick. I feel like we're getting close to a big icon SBC. We have to be, right? Because the focus has not been on icons recently. It's been on team of the season cards. And after team of the season, I think that focus might shift again onto some icon SBC. So anyways, uh, if you do want to get involved with like 84s, I still think like some of these prices are very, very low. Like I was just looking at Grimaldo a second ago. And he's like, what, 5,800 coins, just under 6,000? Like, this is still, in my opinion, a really, really good price for an 84 with these kind of links. So just kind of do your research, know which cards that you want to buy up. I have a couple extra Dignes uh, because this guy, of course, is going to have great links for the SBC if there's any French requirements. So that's kind of why I'm watching him. Martial as well would be a good, lot, a good look. But again, what would the rating be for a League One guaranteed tie today? I'm thinking 85 or 86 is what I'm thinking. Um, I know we have some big boy names in this League One tot squad. Of course, we have Neymar, um, we have Mbappe, and everybody's going to want to try to get these cards for sure. Um, but they're going to be very hard to attain, as you very well know, but that's going to make everybody want to do these SBCs. So they're going to release these either today or tomorrow, and they're going to come out, and everybody's going to do it. So that's why I think the fodder might be a play, uh, because there's going to be demand for some of this stuff. So again, I think 85 or 86 is probably going to be kind of like the sweet spot for this SBC, because you've got a lot of high-tier players in here. You've got Depay, of course, Mbappe, Neymar, Yetter and uh, Bamba are all over or right around 500k inside of this team. So you have one, two, three, four, five players that are 500k or above. Then you've got Di Maria, who is solid. You've got Marquinhos, who is solid. And I would even say Andre and Paqueta are pretty solid as well, and Keller Navas. So as long as you're not getting Klaas, Laborde, Yilmaz, Enrique, or Jose Fonte, you're probably not too upset, right? It's a decent card. So a lot of people are going to do this, and I do think this is going to be an 85 or 86 squad. Now for the other Lower tier, MLS and rest of the world. I actually bought some Cezinhas this morning at 99K. He was just 110. I'm going to wait for him to fluctuate back up to that. And I got a top one here at 475. So I'm going to try to trade those this morning because they're very rare today for sure. But again, I feel like this needs to be another 82 rated squad, just like it has been the past couple weeks. I don't think that these two squads right here are as hype as the Eredivisie or the CSL, especially the Eredivisie with those links that we have in FIFA this year with the SBCs. Um, but I think an 82 rated squad, people would take their shot at getting a Tavernier, Orsic, Cecinia, Nani. Uh, I mean, even Pozuelo is a really good looking card too. So 82 rated squad. Last week we saw 82s actually do very well. So if you want to do pretty much a low risk investment as well, 82 rated cards right now, 1.5, 1.6K. You look at some of these guys who have good links. Uh, this Ramsey, 1.7. I mean, boom, there was a point, was it last week, where he was almost 3,000 coins when these guaranteed packs come out. So, you know, 1.5K for this this morning, if you want to make a little bit of a risk um, short term, it's not that big of a risk because people are still buying these to do the upgrade packs. Um, you know, 82s are probably a decent shot today as well, last second. So just kind of pointing that out, that's where I see the guaranteed SBC is kind of falling in terms of the market today. Now, of course, if you look around the rest of the market, a lot of these League One tots have continued to drop. Neymar is 9 million coins. Um, ben Yedder is 145. So these cards are continually going lower. If we get the guaranteeds today, they're probably going to drop a little bit even lower than that. Now, some of the Air Divisie and CSL cards have actually rebounded up very, very nicely. Dumfries was 77K Sunday night. I bought a couple of those, sold mine at 100, and I sold some Mollins last night at 137. I got one left. Uh, that I bought under 100k. So a nice, really short-term flip on some of these Eredivisie Tots cards just because they're rare. Alessandrini went from 200k to 262. So that was a GG as well, if you got in on any of that. But again, what you're seeing is a lot of the high tier market and a lot of these Tots cards are continually dropping. Look at Mertens, 933,000 coins. Ronaldo is 6.22. The cards that people are expecting to get in, again, to the ultimate team of the season are dropping for sure. So uh, I saw Sancho at 2.4 last night. Lewandowski was like 1.7 low. I mean, look at this Davies, 500K flat. That is down. So um, I think people are expecting that some of these cards are going to get in to Ultimate Tots and they're already selling. So just be careful of that as we head throughout the week. That's probably going to continue. 
to happen. But if you're grinding the upgrade packs right now, which I have been doing, the counter's up to 51. You may be wondering, who have I packed? From the League One, it really hasn't been anybody good. I've packed cards like Jose Fonte, I have packed Klaas, and I've packed Kaylor Navas. I think those are the only League One cards that I've packed. Yeah, Fonte, Navas, and Klaas. Um, but other than that, it's been pretty dry. I packed a couple of the... I packed one of the rest of the world cards yesterday from the upgrades, but I've honestly just been hitting the League One uh, upgrade with the premiums, buying the rares for like, you know, 1,400 coins, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I might chill out with it a little bit this week, but if you're crafting the packs, I think the premiums are the way to go. And then from where you go after that, it's kind of up to you because some people are going for the player pick, and I've had actually really good luck with the player picks in terms of fodder. Um... How much is Stu Wani right now? 1400 There's only four cards there. So these rares are definitely up. I might hold off on upgrades a little bit until later in the week. Um, but yes, I've been rinsing into the actual, the rare player picks because they only require seven golds. Now I've absolutely destroyed my club in terms of silvers. I have no silvers right now because I've been turning all of them into this. But these have actually been giving out some good fodder to, for me. So I completed OR. I've got O Block almost done. And I have a bunch of fodder ready to go today for the guaranteed SBCs uh, when they come out. So that's kind of nice if you are grinding these packs. That's kind of my thing and, and what I think works best for me. The two player upgrades might work pretty well for you um, with your non rare duplicates as well if you are grinding those packs right there. So, again, kind of an interesting. Like, the week of FIFA, though, the content-wise, I think people are just not very happy because you look in here and you see only one player SBC from League One team of the season, right? And it's going to be completed because I did that. That was LR. Um, of course, we've had the Joe Gomez. Okay. I think we all thought we were going to get some good content yesterday on Monday, and nothing happened, right? We had the Blaze Matuidi, which is an all-right SBC. Um, very, very easy to do. It takes two squads, but it's like 80,000 coins. Very interesting links if you want to get some MLS and some French links in there. It's a very interesting card, but I think still a bit of a letdown in terms of this promo in total so far with League One Tots, which just makes me think that Ultimate Tots might be hype and whatever is coming right after Ultimate is going to be hype. So again, just like we saw with the beginning of Premier League, the kind of the content kind of tipped down and then it exploded after that. I think people and EA Sports are just trying to keep... You know, they're trying to keep it going like this and not make all the content insane for the past few weeks of Team of the Season. We have had two insane weeks, but I think the reason why they're not making it all insane is because they want people to stay involved and they know the Euros are coming up. They know people are expecting a lot of stuff. And of course, even like with Ultimate Team of the Season, they want to keep people engaged. And if it's peak hype content all the time, people are not going to have anything left in their clubs. And it's going to be like, you know, people are going to be quitting the game because they're not going to have any coins to participate in the content, right? So then they kind of drop the content off, the game gets quiet for a bit, and then they come back with a boom, right? So I think that's what EA is doing right now with this game, um, and that's why the content's a little bit lackluster. But hopefully today, player SBC, um, whether it's from the rest of the world or maybe we have a player SBC um, from League One, that would be very nice as well. How much is this tab right now? Um, we don't have a guaranteed code yet added. So I'm hoping this guy kind of bounces back and gets a little bit rare, but maybe I missed the sell time just slightly. Uh, but when when we have a guaranteed code added, that might make some of these guys drop a little bit. So I'm probably going to try to get them out and take my little bits of profit pretty soon. Like this guy's still right around 100,000 coins. Um, if I can catch a fluctuation to like, you know, 105, that'd be great. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to list up my Malin right now because I know I have this listed at 130. So I'm going to do that. Boom. That's a nice little bit of profit right there. So I bought what, four Malins? Four Malins all sold around like 130-ish, 137 for one, 127 for one, and I guess 37 for two. But Dumfries at 100, I bought that at 75,000 coins. So kind of wish I would have bought more of those, but the focus again this week was upgrade packs for me, and we're definitely hitting hitting on a lot of those. But that's kind of the video for today, boys. I know it's a bit late, so I want to get it out ASAP to you dudes. Hopefully, we have that code added. And again, I want to talk about that player of the year SBC because that's going to be coming out very soon. That'll probably be part of the content that drops on Friday with Ultimate Team of the Season. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Photo Count. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.